Hello, welcome to this week's video. It's a workout routine for women 40 plus. I met Kelly Workman recently on our retreat at Miraval in Austin. She headed up the entire workout program for all of the women there and everybody was raving about Kelly because she focuses on the importance of muscle as we age. And so talk a little about that before we start the routine. Yeah, well, everyone, it's a big buzz right now. Everyone's talking about sarcopenia and you're losing your muscle as you get older. Right. The problem is people, a, are not eating enough protein, but B, they're not resistive weight training. They're doing awesome things like yoga and meditation. All these things are great for you. Mm -hmm. But if you don't lift weights, resistive weights with a certain amount of intensity, you're not going to build the muscle that you need to keep the muscle as you eat the protein as you get older. Yeah. And I think you're going to help me um, come up with a 30 minute workout yes. that you guys can do at home. So we're designing this for you as well. And what's great is that Kelly is going to basically show us modifications for lower intensity up to higher intensity. So you ready for your workout? I'm excited. Me too. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So let's start just with a dynamic warm up. Okay. Good for balance and coordination. You can walk in place. We're going to stand still for this demonstration. Just opposite foot, opposite hand. You're just doing it for 30 seconds. Okay. Breathing the whole time, keeping your belly button pulled in. Focus on your fingers reaching to your toes. Even if your hamstrings are tight, just do your best. They won't they'll eventually reach there. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> I did a yoga class the other day, and I'm feeling these hammies. <laughs> You're like, oh, 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 oh. Just keep stretching. Okay, good. A few more seconds. Okay, nice and warmed up. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is let's grab our weights. Okay. It's giving you, you can use any size of weights. Okay, right? so these, these are, are threes. Eights, these are threes. It doesn't, it just depends on your own strength, right? Everything's okay. modified. Sure. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lunge forward, bicep curl up, okay. come back up, switch legs. Lunge forward, bicep curl up. Very basic. This is 30 seconds you'll do this for, and you'll have a 30 second rest. And we'll just do it. So you're saying this is a, a hit workout, which hit. is high intensity. High intensity. So we're getting your heart rate up and lifting weights and keeping the heart rate at a level that you are burning calories, but still able to talk how I'm talking to you right now. Right. I couldn't carry a deep thinking conversation on but enough that we can speak to each other. And I like how we're working upper body and lower body here at the same time. Exactly. That's really the goal of HIT, is to get the heart rate up, and the best way you do it is working upper and lower at the same time. Got it. Okay, let's do one more. Okay. And we rest for 30 seconds. Okay. We would do that for a set of three times. Okay. Okay, Okay. so now we can put the weight, weights at our shoulders. Okay. Turn sideways. Yeah. Okay. So now as we go out, we're gonna lunge it sideways, press up. Lunge it sideways, oops, oops. and press up. <laughs> yeah. Lunge it sideways, and press up. Okay. Lunge it sideways, and press up, just like that. Breathing, belly's pulled in. Focus on our core engagement. All right. Not too much weight, if you, like you've had a neck problem, so you wouldn't want to put too much weight, just a little. Three right. pounds, five pounds max, because yeah. you don't want to stretch your neck. Yeah, because that's where I've had chronic problems, Right. it's what's kept me away from doing right. all of this. Exactly, okay. so just like this. Keep it light. 30 seconds. Okay. Almost. Yep. And so I feel like we're getting glutes, we're getting inner thighs, shoulders. Everything. Core. Core. Everything. Yep. And I can definitely feel my heart rate going. Yes. Too. Me too. Yeah. I'm panting hard over here. Okay, now let's rest 30 Good. seconds. Okay, so okay. Pam, we're going to rest. Ooh, shake it out. <sighs> shake it out. Okay. So that was great. So now triceps, we'll do reverse. Reverse. Know, right? Reverse lunges. Okay. okay. So walk your elbows in. We're gonna lean back, tricep dip and come back. Okay. So now, anytime you're doing things, individual legs like we're doing, yep. look somewhere forward that's not moving. So you can keep your balance and keep your focus. When you work triceps, you really gotta squeeze the back of the arm. Right. And what's your rule on the knee? It does not need to touch. Doesn't need to touch. Doesn't need to touch. And I know you can't go too far over the ankle, is that right? Well, if you're very flexible, it's no problem. Oh, okay. But if you're not very flexible, it is a problem. Got it. But the more thing, the thing you really want to watch is just getting the lunge to where you're feeling it in the front of the leg and you're feeling it in the glute. I'm feeling it everywhere. Good. I know. Me too. <laughs> Good. Three, two, and one. Okay. Rest. Okay, now, <clears throat> take two dumbbells if you want, or one dumbbell, depending on how heavy it is. We're gonna s open up to sumo style. Now, 
It's important when you squat that your butt sits in the chair. If your butt cannot sit in the chair, get a chair like this bench okay. or a chair at home and practice setting your butt to the chair. Okay. People tenants have a tendency to bend here mm. to squat. Don't do that. Bad for your back. Okay. Okay. So we're going here. We're just gonna squat down and come up. The weight stayed our chest for now. So okay. we're pretending we have an imaginary chair. Yes. And when in doubt, have a stool. Absolutely. Or Set bench. your butt down. Right. So now, after we get a few seconds in here, as we go down, if our weights are light enough, don't hurt your neck. As you come up, front out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Whew. My heart rate's going. Big time. Heart rate's going. Getting to work out. Yep. And the pace is pretty quick. We're not going it is. slow. Two, one. Oh, let's rest. Okay, shake it out. Shake it out. Shake so it out. all those are 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds on, 30 second rest, right. three times. When you first start, a modification would be 30 seconds on, one minute rest. Oh. Two minute rest if you need it. Okay. Okay. Just to get your heart rate back down. Got okay? it. Okay. So now we're gonna go on the floor. So we're gonna go in our plank position. Okay. If you have weak or abs that have had surgery or something, stay on your knees for now is fine. Okay. If you can go in the plank, you're just gonna go in the plank and you're gonna row up and row up. Holding the belly in. And remember, I said 30 seconds. If you can work up to 30 seconds, if you can only do 10, do 10. Work your way to 30 seconds. Very good, just like that. A few more. One more. Okay, down and rest. Here comes your lovely yoga pose. Yeah. You can child's pose it down. Oh, God bless rest. you. Rest. <laughs> rest, relax. <sighs> okay. How long do you get to rest? Not too long. That was a, that was a whole fake 30 seconds, whole, day, whole fake one minute. Okay, so now whenever we talk core, a lot of people when they do core, when they do uh, crunches, they're working their hip flexors. They're pulling up too mm -hmm. much of their legs. So I love to teach people Especially in the beginning, I do this myself because I have a little bit of back issue sometimes. Okay. I will lean up against a floor or a wall in my house and keep my legs right here, up okay. against the wall. And we will literally just roll the shoulders up and try to touch the toes okay. and come back down. We will go so intentional that we are trying to let our upper abs kiss our lower abs. Right. So as we're crunching we're up, meeting. we're slowly squeeze and then release. Okay. So it's not quick. You're not like, oh, 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 uh -huh. like trying to rush through it. You're trying to really tighten it up and push through. So this is the only exercise where we're slowing it down. Slowing it down. Okay. This would be towards the end of your 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, so legs are up against a wall, or if you can hold them here without a wall, more power to you. Okay. So my fingers reach up, and you're just gonna blow out. <sighs> Inhale when you lay down. <sighs> and just every time you go up, try to peel that upper spine off, peel the shoulders off, and really focus on those upper abs, kissing the lower abs. They're just trying to crunch up. This takes your hips totally out of it. Yeah. You're just working your upper abs. <sighs> you would do it for 30 seconds. But again, the whole time your intensity is squeezing those abs as you come up. <sighs> it's really how different, amazing how different it feels when you're mindful about that. Yep. When you really focus and you feel those abs crunching up, you can visualize from the upper of your ribs, the lower mm -hmm. part of the ribs, going towards that belly button. Right. Good. Three, two, one. 30 second rest. <laughs> <laughs> These rests are much quicker. <laughs> oh, for the sake of the video. That's right. That's <sighs> okay, now for lower abs. Okay. I love to do these because this is a great modification for everyone can do this and it works very well. Okay. So maybe we look like this. Okay. My hands are kind of under my butt and my elbows are on the ground, okay? okay. So I'm starting this position so I don't have any strain on my neck. If you're seeing yourself push your head up, stop doing that. Okay. You're, you're supposed to be putting your chest up and just looking kind of towards the ceiling, okay? okay? So now you'll raise your feet up, okay? And now you're just gonna bicycle your legs out and you're gonna breathe. You will only lower your legs as low as you can that you're not straining your neck, okay? okay. So if you feel like your neck is straining, let it go, breathe through it and keep your chest pressed up, okay? And you'll do this for 30 seconds holding your belly in, breathing the whole time. 
intentionally pushing the toes out away from you, thinking about that belly, that low belly pulled in to your spine and breathing. No strain on the neck for three, two, one. Okay, rest a second. My lower ab. Okay. So we did the bicycle. So I love this one too. Elbows here, right. hands are underneath your hips. So now bring the knees in. Mm -hmm. You're gonna extend the legs. Only extend them as low as you can that you don't have any low back pain. Just gonna open, bring your heels together, squeeze your inner thighs together, press away. Squeeze your inner thighs together, press Ooh, away. Kelly, I squeeze feel them together and press away. Point the toes when mm -hmm. you go away and squeeze the inner thighs together. And this is also 30 seconds. Keep the belly in. Remember, no strain on the neck whatsoever. How do you keep it out of the neck? That's my problem. So then let your head go back a little bit okay. and just look at the ceiling until you feel the tension out of your neck. Got it. Push your chest up. The weight is in your hands and in your elbows and your chest is pushing up. Your neck is just laying there. Just like that, squeeze your inner thighs together. Let's do it for three and two and one. Rest. Wow. Oh, that's... Oh. It's good also because as you become stronger, your 30 seconds, um, you may have heavier weight. So your 30 second intervals may go slower than we were doing if the weight pretends you have a three pound, but you want to move to the five pound. Mm -hmm. but you might not get as many squats in that 30 seconds. Doesn't matter. Yeah. If you can do so much and your heart rate is not getting high enough, yeah. there's a calculation to do for your age and your, all your weight and your health and all these things. So as long as it's getting up, you know, 120, 130, 140, depending yeah. how old you are, that's great. If you can get 140, 150, 160, depending on how old you are and keep it there, that's great. If you need that heavy weight, heavier weight, that will get up there faster and keep it there longer. Sure. So that's the intensity that once you start, it's fine to start small, but bump it. Bump it either the time or the weight, even if it's a little bit different. It's important to always be progressing one way or another. How do you know when it's time to do either? Well, typically when it's too easy. Okay. When you're like, oh, I finished that in 25 minutes. Yeah. And you're really not breaking a sweat, okay. right? You need it to be enough that you are breaking enough of a sweat and you really can't talk. Hmm. And sometimes it's hard when you're alone to do that. So you really got to keep yourself in check, right? Yes. You got to be mindful of, eh, I was kind of halfway today. And it's okay to have a halfway day. Yeah. But the next time, you know, I need to kick it up. Okay. I need to do some more. I need to do something else. Right. right. And the best way to add weight is when you're doing the lower body movements, like the squats, mm -hmm. because typically your legs can handle more, right, yep. than your upper body and that way you have no strain in your neck. So if you're going to add a weight, you want to go from an eight to a 10, that's totally acceptable because you can really, you're using more than 10 pounds when you get up out of a chair or something, right? Right. So you're already really using that weight as it is. So it's not that bad. Okay. This is a cardio and Wait. weightlifting workout, right? Yep. I still recommend people do at least one or two extra days of cardio, 20 minutes at a time, medium intensity. Define you can talk. that. Could that be walking? So what? walking, if you are wearing some kind of device to tell you what your heart rate is, okay? Because okay. that's what I think, well, I walk. Well, walking isn't enough because you walk every day. Right. It needs to be walking at a fast pace. Maybe you need to move your arms when you walk because your heart rate won't get up. You need your heart rate to be at a moderate level, 20 minutes, so you're barely able to talk, okay? Uh -huh. 20 minutes, at least two to three times a week. Or you can do two days of intense 20 minutes, which that's where you cannot talk, almost anaerobic, riding an aerodyne bike or something like that, really getting up there for 20 minutes twice a week. Okay. That's just for your heart. It has nothing to do with your fat loss, nothing else. Mm -hmm. It's just to keep your heart healthy, right? Right. And then this, how many days a week? Two, two, two to three days a week. Two to three days yes. a week. When you first start, do once, do once a week. Okay. If you're very first starting out, just get used to it. Don't go crazy. Right. Make sure the day before you've eaten properly, you've drank water, you've done, don't, don't have bad sleep the day before, yes. right? Prepare to succeed when you start your first workout, right? Okay. And then maybe a week or two, you can add twice a week. Maybe then you can add three times a week. Got it. But you can do it while you're on vacation. Most hotels or whatever have a gym. Have the weights. But even if you don't, you can do body weight. So do body weight. You'll do body weight squats. Use your arms in the air, mm -hmm. right? Get your heart rate up. Use your arms. You know, you can do different toe touch, different things you can do to make your heart rate go up. Yep. Even when you're traveling. This is something you do forever, not just because you're home or right. whatever. You need to do it two or three times a week for the rest of your life. life. You talked about protein in the beginning. Women don't need enough protein no. for muscle. How much do we need to be consuming? The average answer for everyone is one gram of protein per body weight that you want to weigh. I work out three times a week and I work out pretty hard. I weigh about 110. I try to eat about 140 grams of protein every day. Typically, if you can get one gram per body weight, you weigh 120 and 120 grams. I challenge all my clients the first week that we're training together, 
write down. Mm -hmm. They're like, I know, I eat plenty. I'm like, you really don't. You really don't. You had two eggs and a piece of salmon. That's not nearly enough for the day, okay? Right. So write it down. Google it, Dr. Google, and ask how many grams does this thing have. Right. Weigh your food, measure it. Typically, if you're at a restaurant, the size of your palm is a serving of protein for yourself, right? For your stomach, this is about, about how it should be. This is about 25 to 30 grams, depending on what you're eating. That's it. So if you had a salad with a piece of salmon that was this big, that's probably 20, 25 grams of protein. Maybe you had a protein smoothie with 20 grams that morning. That's not nearly enough to keep muscle in your body. Even if you're not lifting weights and you're just thinking, I'm eating enough, to keep my muscle, that is not enough. If you don't get at least one gram per body weight that you want to weigh, your body eats the muscle first and it stores the fat. I hate how that happens. I know. It's just okay. science. So, okay, assuming we're not getting enough in a meal, mm -hmm. I know that there are a ton of snacks. I mean, I, I graze on mm -hmm. nuts all mm -hmm. the time. What are some wonderful ways to add protein in the diet throughout the day? So I love nuts too. Yeah. The problem with nuts is they're not enough bang for your buck. Oh. You have to eat so many nuts to get a serving of protein, yeah. like so, so many calories, you won't get rid of them. Sure. I love nuts and things like that, like as a, a garnish, a garnish to my thing. I love them. I had them today in my yogurt. But my yogurt was, a, for instance, a 20 gram protein yogurt, low sugar, no sugar. Okay. I added nuts and berries to that. I see. Um, there's, uh, there's all kinds of, the brand I'm addicted to right now is called Quest. Quest is high protein, um, no sugar, low sugar good fats in it, and it's a very popular brand. They have all kinds of food. At the end of the day, you need to eat, whether you're a vegetarian or not, mm -hmm. some kind of protein, whether it's tofu, whether it's chicken, fish, steak, whatever, and just add up. Usually three meals of 30 gets you right about 90. You have maybe something in the morning, some kind of protein drink or smoothie, you put protein powder mm -hmm. in. That could be 30 or 40 grams of protein powder or whatever you're using in the morning. And maybe at the night, I will cheat and I will have collagen in my coffee, yes. like Vital Choice Protein Coffee. Yes. And I'll put that in my chamomile tea at night and I'll put three scoops, not two. And that's just about 30 grams even right there in my tea. You really can't taste it just in case I haven't got enough in that day. I saw one of your Instagram videos. You were adding a scoop of protein to your um, oats. I, I took my oats all the time. Yes. It, my son, even my seven-year-old, when I make macaroni and cheese, I add a scoop of that to his macaroni and syrup. He cannot tell the difference. Amazing. Because it's just carbohydrates and fat in that. He has no protein in that. Right. But when they're little, little kids, they can't, they're like, I don't want meat, I don't want this. So I, I hide it in everything I can hide it in. That's fabulous. I sprinkled his cheese pizza last night with one scoop of protein. <laughs> and I put cheese on top of it. I mean, just anything I can do to okay. like, because everybody needs it, not just us. Everybody needs enough protein, and we've been trained to where, no, it's low fat, no, it's low carb, yeah, it's so but wrong. no one addresses the protein, but your body catabolizes the muscle before it does the fat, so you have to keep feeding it so it stays with you. Got it. I love that. So this, the secret sauce here is adding protein to whatever Whatever you can, can whatever you can stomach. Powder. That's right. And are, are there any that are better or worse than uh, others? I, I like the ones that are hydrolyzed, meaning they've already kind of been pre-digested, so I don't have tummy bloating, I don't have tummy aches, that kind of thing. What you want to look for is the most amount of protein that you can get with the least amount of ingredients and no sugar added. No okay. sugar. It has a label. You have to read the ingredients. Got it. Because that's the most important. Protein and the less amount of sugar you can get. This has been so helpful. Yeah. Building muscle, foods to help you build yeah. muscle. Yeah. I can't thank you enough. I'm going to have you back. Thank you. That was awesome. Thanks, Dominique. This was, that was thanks, great. Kelly. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right. Enjoy. Bye-bye.